A couple of months ago, I got an email from the head of design and development from a company called eBack. One of the friends of this YouTube channel, Edward, had made an introduction between myself and one of the members of staff at eBack. I was really intrigued. This was a new heat pump manufacturer talking about enhanced efficiency, and it was based in County Durham, 25 minutes drive from where I live. How did I not know about this? Here's what the email said. Hi Tom, Edward dropped me a message referencing your latest heat pump video. Interesting, but from my point of view, not at all surprising. The heat pump myths need quashing. Good job in doing this. May I ask what specification the valent is? I'm curious how this would compare with our advanced enhanced efficiency. Valent are great heat pumps, by the way. I'm sure we can arrange a factory visit for you both. Let me know if this is of interest and some idea of availability. Bring your camera though. Look forward to hearing you from you from you soon. So eventually the three of us managed to put some time in the diary and Edward and me went to visit the fact the eBack factory. And before I go any further, I should say this is not an advert. I haven't been paid anything to make this video. I was just interested in a heat pump factory and thought that you might be on YouTube. So who are eBack and how did they get into heat pumps? Well, until hearing from Tom, I'm not sure I'd even heard of eBack. You may have done. They've been making dehumidifiers, water coolers, wash machines, and much more for decades. And they've got a bit of a niche as being a family owned British manufactured white goods company. There aren't many of those left. They might not be able to compete with some of the big, big boys on the global scale, but the story is that their quality and their workmanship and their technology means that they've been a successful business in Durham for years. So why have they started making heat pumps? Well, it turns out eBack started making heat pumps over 10 years ago. The thermodynamics of their normal kit, giving them a bit of a head start into making heat pumps because heat exchangers, fans, vapor compression, de dehumidification, all that kind of stuff, all the moving parts or similar to the moving parts that make a heat pump. They already know how to manufacture them. They know how they work and they have already been working for years in improving them. But when they started making heat pumps back in the early 2010s, maybe we as a country, maybe the heating industry in the UK, maybe we weren't ready for that product. I'm told they, they sold a few heat pumps back then, but it probably wasn't sufficient to focus on for eBack as a company. But with the heat pump revolution just about beginning, Tom and the team have restarted with a new heat pump. Uh, that's just now just about on the market. So heat pumps can, can appear fairly magical, taking heat out of cold air to heat a house. But as Tom talked through and showed us uh, in, in the factory, they can be quite simple. And eBack's heat pump is no different. There's a fan to draw air over a heat exchanger, which takes heat from the air to deliver heat to a refrigerant that's then evaporated by that heat the refrigerant is then compressed using some electricity before dumping the, the compressed heat, dumping all that energy where it is needed in a hot water circuit. Ebacks heat pump looks modern. Can we call heat pumps stylish? Um, it's similar size to my Valen Aerotherm Plus, uh, and the one that Tom was showing us is a similar heat output at five kilowatts. They also make a slightly bigger unit at nine kilowatts. So there's a couple of options to, to, from eBack there. After talking through eBack's kit, Tom then took us around the shop floor, showing us the dehumidifier lines, washing machine panel shaping, and a small heat pump line. This year, Tom expects they'll make around 5,000 heat pumps with the ambition to get to 30,000 in the medium term. It's really fun to see heat pump parts on a conveyor belt um, plastic molding, half-built systems, compressors out in the open. But heat pumps are not the only low-carbon technology that eBack are making. Their experience in dehumidifiers and condensation has led them to create some uh, what we call MVHR or mechanical ventilation with heat recovery units or what they're using the, the phrase DHR, so dehumidification with heat recovery. And this kind of technology is something that I suspect you'll begin to see much more of as we move away from old drafty homes with extract fangs sucking in cold, cold air to get to deal with moisture and condensation in bathrooms and kitchens to an alternative, which would be managed ventilation that minimizes the cold air intake whilst maximizing air quality and cleanliness. 
seeing eBack system reminded me that we this could be a good thing to do in our home as well. We did a loft conversion. Maybe we could install a small heat recovery unit that would take warm air from certain rooms, extracting that air, taking cold air from outside, and then supplying warmer air where we need it. That's the kind of daydream I have anyway. But back to heat pumps. So Tom explains that they're currently going through the testing and validation process to get these systems registered with MCS. And so the efficiency figures that they have had in the lab are still to be validated. I'll be in touch with Tom and I'll be looking out for the figures when they come, uh, that they come up with when they're ready at the end of the testing process. And, and those figures produced under the correct methodology should therefore be comparable to other manufacturers and the claims that other manufacturers have. I'm a bit skeptical as to whether manufacturers literature and, the claim, and their claimed efficiency, their claimed COPs, their claimed scops will always be accurate upon installation. It will also depend on how the system is installed, how the radiators are sized, all that kind of stuff. But a scop figure allows us to compare what we should expect between several different manufacturers. So in his first email to me, Tom used the phrase enhanced efficiency. And Tom mentioned that he thinks that their system may, may have a better efficiency than, than others because of how they handle the defrost cycle. So a defrost cycle is the time when it's really cold outside that a heat, that a heat pump manages the frost buildup on the heat exchanger. Tom says that they're using some of their experience from um, their, their experience of dehumidification to defrost the heat exchange on the coldest days rather than just taking heat from inside the house. And that could make cold weather performance a bit better than other manufacturers. In EBACs, on the EBACs website, they claim it'll save 130 quid a year. Interesting, that, that seems much better, but we'll see when they've got loads of units installed. Before I worry you too much about defrosting and frosting of a heat exchanger, um, I haven't noticed much in our house when a heat pump is defrosting. But the first time I saw it happen outside the window, I was a bit concerned, this huge plume of water vapor. I'll try and make a video about, about defrosting this winter that'll help you understand what's going on. So alongside the heat pump comes a control system and EBAC have entered into a partnership with a company called Homely. And um, Homely are a smart and learning thermostat and controls company that works to optimize heating and specifically heat pump performance based on weather, on comfort, and the way that you want to run your heating system. I sometimes mention in my videos the, tink the tinkering that I try to do and to get the best out of our heat pump in terms of performance. The idea is that Homely would do all that tinkering for you. I've never seen or used a Homely system, but the promise of that kind of system is a kind of fit and forget control system that'll get the best out of a heat pump without you having to tinker. Something that I've not seen from other manufacturers is options on color. So EBAC also offer heat pumps in two colors. So they've got the five kilowatt unit and the nine kilowatt unit. They've also got a whiter or a lighter gray and a darker or a darker gray unit that you can choose from. So you could get one to go with your snazzy new gray anthracite gray windows that you've just put in i think that's quite an interesting development and um, i'm not sure how much choice consumers get on the kind of heat pump that they're going to install what it might look like the manufacturer they want um, an installer might just be an expert on valent heat pumps or lg or mitsubishi and they'll just install whatever they can get their hands on but with eBAC, even if, if the installer was committed to eBAC, you'd still have that option of a slightly different looking um, heat pump. As heat pumps become more common products, maybe that means that people want to have more choice in what they're installing. So we'll see, interesting. So the efficiency figures that eBAC are currently claiming on their website are very high and very impressive. But Tom did say that they may change and that they're likely, or they could come down but when they do change, I may do a short update video on how this system is supposed to perform. Um, as I said earlier, EBAC need to validate and retest their system to get it MCS accredited. And after that, the figures should be comparable with other manufacturers. I mentioned Edward at the start of the video. I was on the visit to the factory with Edward uh, alongside Tom. Um, and Edward is currently talking to Tom from EBAC about installing one of these in his own, his own home. 
if and when he does, we might be able to head over, see what these units look like in the wild, see how it's working, see how it's performing, and understand how uh, the claims that the, the EBAC are making are, are, are being carried out in real life. I've just had a tour of the EBAC factory here in New Naycliff, and it is thrilled to see um, a local manufacturer in County Durham in England, in the UK, making heat pumps. And they've got big vision and big exciting plans to make more here. At the moment, they think they can make about 5,000 a year um, and to be selling them to customers and installers across um, across the country. And the plans are to, to scale it up to 30,000 a year. So um, it could be a heat pump brand that you see much more of in the future. It's been great to meet Tom, uh, the head of development here, and hear all about their plans. So that is it coming to a heat pump installer near you soon and maybe part of the low carbon heating revolution. I honestly don't know how good they are, whether their efficiency numbers stack up or whether they will be good value for money uh, when they're installed. But I am thrilled to see a local manufacturer con concentrating on heat pumps. British made, no even better, County Durham made heat pumps. I love it.